Mr. Sherlock Holmes, I presume. Correct. With whom do I have the pleasure? Emilio Estevo. Happy to make your acquaintance. I am here on behalf of Mycroft, your brother. He is on his way to Cordona. In the meantime, he requests your assistance with a sensitive matter. My orders are to provide you with the details. You have my attention, Mr. Estevo. Mark Ridley, the son of General Arthur Ridley, is being blackmailed. Suffice to say, the compromising material is of a delicate nature. The matter is of no small importance to the Crown, especially given the status quo on Cordona. What about the status quo? The Ottoman population holds a certain animosity towards the colonial rule. It's been this way since we took over the island. General Ridley made concessions with their leaders, but I'm afraid we are still teetering on the edge of open hostility. What does Mycroft want me to do? Retrieve the blackmail material? No, sir, nothing of the sort. Mark Ridley is meeting the blackmailer atop the old city bridge tower. You shall observe from a distance, then establish the blackmailer's identity. Do not attempt to arrest him. We'll handle it from there. Saving the best for yourself? Fine. There is a cafe just over the bridge that provides a good vantage point. Please report to me when you are done. I'll be waiting for you here and remember. Discretion is of the essence. Do exercise some restraint, Mr. Holmes. Find the who's and we'll handle the why's. Here, grab a seat. Here, grab a seat. You even brought a book, huh? Uh, may I have? Same as always. You just don't give up, do you? Oh, come on, let's get closer. We can't see anything from here. No, too early. So we're just going to sit here all day? Patience, John. I have a feeling this is more than simple blackmail. We'll be close when the blackmailer leaves, and then... Go! Can you satisfy my curiosity? I can't help you with that, sir. Oh, not a pretty sight, this. A rather frivolous accessory for a military man. Shame it's all bloody now. What's happened? What, oh, who is it? Head trauma. Fatal. Gravity is cruel like that. <laughs> he was stabbed several times before he fell. The shape of the wounds suggest a curved blade. A key, and where there's a key, there's a lock. The knife is missing. What's happened? What happened? Oh, who is it? It's almost like he's dancing. Dancing the dance macabre. No signs of life, no pulse. I'm declaring Corporal Ridley dead. Waiting. Please move along. The police are on their way. Everything's uh, under control. Is it now? The General's own son has fallen out of the tower, and not without help, it seems. I need to inspect the scene, and quickly. The Corporal? He ordered me not to let anyone inside without telling him. But now... Wait, are you saying it's a murder? A brief examination of the body was enough for me to conclude that he was murdered by a blade of Ottoman origin. He can't possibly be so certain. Oh, I can be. The corporal suffered deep stab wounds which were inflicted with great force. They were made by a knife meant for cutting, not stabbing. A curved blade such as an Ottoman Jambir or a Gurkha Kukri. I haven't seen any Gurkhas on the island, so the conclusion is quite obvious. Amazing. 
You do seem more than competent. All right, go in. I'll wait here for the police. Did you see anything suspicious? No, sir, nothing. Corporal Ridley had to attend to some private matters upstairs. No one went in, no one came out. Oh, but that means the killer is still inside. Are you sure you want to go in alone? I'm not alone. I have my friend with me. Your friend? You mean, your gun? There's no one at... Never mind, I'll be fine. The killer's gone. Vanished into thin air. Imagine if we'd been able to get up here ten years ago. Oh, it would have been the perfect base. This blade is a naval officer's dirk. Sharp and well cared for. The edge is covered with blood, but the tip is clean. <sighs> this cigarette is still smouldering. Can you smell the body odor, John? Someone's been hiding in here. Someone sweaty. Unless it's a laundry chest. But then it's a different mystery altogether. The case of the vanishing sweaty pantaloons. There's a nice view from here, don't you think? Gonna join the Navy after all. That'd make Mycroft so happy, you know. Shut up, John. Exactly 100 man gears. The killer didn't touch them. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Ridley was attacked by his blackmailer, but before being pushed out the window, Ridley managed to wound him. The killer must still be bleeding.
Come on, let's take the rope down. I'd rather take the stairs. Ah, what a bore. So what happened? Was there anyone upstairs? No, the killer escaped. We're dealing with a carefully planned assassination. What can you tell me about the deceased? We were from the same unit, stationed together at the barracks by the bridge, but I can't say I knew him well. Maybe someone at the barracks could tell you more. Do you know if the corporal had any enemies? Someone who would want him dead? No, uh, none that I know of. But then again, there's always the Ottomans. They'd want all of us soldiers dead, I reckon. I hope the police find the murderer. Was a rough landing. <sighs> wow, amazing, right? Disturbing is more like it. How many knives do you think are stuck here? I keep losing count. Aha, uh -huh. a curved knife covered in fresh blood. There we go. Hmm, doubt that this eagle is purely ornamental. Careful, Sherry. I'd better leave the knife here. Uh, now is a bad time to ruffle any feathers. Think you are. Leave it. Don't touch. It's sacred. May I ask you something? Nobody cares about us, so why should I care about anybody? Another knife in the pillar. Another death paid in blood.
That pillar is a damn eyesore. Not for the general, I burn it down myself. You aren't here to relieve me from duty, are you? Oh well. You aren't here to relieve me from duty, are you? Can I ask you a question? Ah, I know this, yeah, let me help you. Help me, please. I'd help you if I could, but I know nothing. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I don't know, but I'm sure there are others who'd be glad to help a fellow in uniform. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I don't know, but I'm sure there are others who'd be glad to help a fellow in uniform. Is this familiar to you? Ah, I know this, yeah, let me help you. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'd help you if I could, but I know nothing. Nice. A room after my own heart. A little austere for my taste.
being the son of a general must be difficult. Rise all the way to the top. Make me proud, son. There are scratches on the floor. The locker was moved. Can you imagine me wearing that uniform? I think I'd look rather dashing. Two tickets to London would have been a very different ending for the corporal's story. That's quite a hefty sum. Enough to start a new life. Nice affordable clothes. Let's pick something that suits you. A good choice.
a good choice indeed. Keep walking, stranger. You are expected. Quickly, coming. My love, oh, I'm so. Who are you? Where's Mark? Answer me or I'll call for help. You will do no such thing, Jalen. We both know it. How do you know my name? And why are you wearing this scarf? What has happened? A flood of questions, but I only have one answer. Mark Ridley is dead. No. This cannot be. You're, you're lying. Tell me you're lying. Keep your voice down, miss. I don't have time for a lady's hysterics. Mark has been murdered, and I believe that the murderer is part of this house. No. It was a secret. We were meeting. We were... How could anyone find out? The truth always comes out one way or another. But enough of this. Tell me, have you seen anything suspicious here? No, I... I heard the servants talking about blood near the main entrance, but I didn't think... This is too much for me. I can't. Why did you have to be so mean to her? I wasn't mean. Now is not the time for pity. Is that you or your reptilian brain talking? I'll be right here. Bloody trail. <laughs> Let's see where it leads. Pile of fresh clothes. <laughs> How convenient. All soaked in blood. Well, a fresh shirt is as good a lead as any. So, think you can identify the killer on the first try? Huh. Do you doubt me? Do you think they'd mind if I washed my shirt? I haven't changed in days and, um, Starting to smell. Where do you stay? So, I have... I am Osiris. That's right, I am. I recovered the murder weapon. It bears an eagle crest, the same crest that is so proudly displayed within your house. And a proud house we are. My father speaks for all Ottomans on this island. Remember that. Regrettably, I failed to detect much pride in the callow way you ambushed the corporal.
It couldn't have been very comfortable for you inside that chest, waiting to catch the corporal off guard. Couldn't you find a better place to hide? You're a fine one to talk of tactics. You're dressed as a woman. If you'll pardon the metaphor, he was a fishbone that became lodged in your throat. You had a strong motive to see him dead. At the heart of this crime is a woman, Jalen. I wonder who she might be to you. Your wife? Mm, unlikely. Your sister? Enough! Don't you dare say a word about my sister. It was he who led her to sin. That son of a dog, Mark Ridley. He spat on our traditions and brought shame to our family. His father promised us peace, but I knew how it would be. You feed the crow, it tears your eyes out. So you've risked the peace to right your honor. I had no other choice. Not that you'd understand, Brit. Azai, you are under arrest for the murder of Mark Ridley. You'll have to come with me now. First you sneak into my house, and now this? We'll put you down like the rabbit dog you are. I'm coming. <laughs> Too simple. Simple. The snuff's ready. Don't bother. Give him the pepper snuff. I'm coming. Too simple. Don't cry, you'll live. I can overcome the brute now. I'm coming. I couldn't miss the party. Don't bother moving. You've lost. I'm coming for you. No more crime for you until next month. It's time for you to go to prison, Azai. Come with me, and let's do so peacefully this time. You'll regret this, Brit. Get out of my face, Brit. You did everything right, Sherry, no matter what Mycroft or his henchmen will say. Mr. Holmes, I am in no position to reprimand you, but you should know that your unwarranted intervention will cost us dearly. I did what I had to do. The killer was brought to justice. I didn't expect you to be so narrow-minded. You have undermined your brother's efforts, and now we will have to face the consequences. Such is the price of law and order, Mr. Estevo. Everyone must be held accountable for their actions. Law and order? You are clearly oblivious of the bigger picture, Mr. Holmes. There is no point in us discussing it further. I bid you good day. You did everything right, Sherry, no matter what Mycroft or his henchmen will say. Good day, Mr. Holmes.
Come on, Sherry. Say, I am the law. 